Hi, this is Tamima Zizada with Vanguard Instruments, and in this video, I'll walk you through how to perform a current transformer excitation test with the Vanguard EZCT2000C current transformer tester. The EZCT2000C can perform excitation, current ratio, polarity, and phase angle tests. It also automatically demagnetizes the CT when performing excitation tests. The EZCT2000C can also measure the insulation resistance of the CT's secondary winding as well as measure the CT's load burden. Lastly, it provides a programmable current source that can be used to verify CT loads. To perform an excitation test, we'll make connections per this diagram. Once the connections have been made, we'll start from the unit's main menu. Press the 1 key to select Run Test. We'll perform all three tests, so press the 1 key for resistance, excitation, and ratio. Next, select the tap connection by pressing the corresponding key. For this example, we are using tap X1 to X2, so we'll press the 1 key. From this screen, we'll select the test voltage. Press the 3 key for 500 volts. Now, select the test current. We'll press the 5 key for 5 amps. Since our tests include a ratio test, we can enter the nameplate ratio if the values are known. We'll press the 1 key for yes. Type the first number and then press the enter key. Type the second number and then press the enter key. You can change the CT temperature by pressing the up and down arrow keys. For this example, we'll accept the default value and press the enter key. Now we can add any relevant notes about the test using the keypad. We'll leave this blank for this example and just press enter. The EZCT2000C can calculate the ratio and current phase error values and print the error tables in the printout. Press the 2 key to select no. Now a summary of the test parameters will be displayed. Press the start key. The EZCT2000C will first perform the DC resistance test and display the results. Next, the ratio test will be performed. The voltage will be ramped up to the selected test voltage and then ramped down. When the testing is finished, the CT saturation curve will be displayed. Press any key to continue. Now press the 1 key to select yes and the unit will print the test results on the built-in thermal printer. Press the 1 key to keep the test results. Press any key to continue. You can run another test with the same test parameters by pressing 1, but for this example, we'll press 2 for no. You can also run a burden test by pressing 1, but for this example, we'll press 2 for no. Now we're given the option to run an insulation resistance test. We'll press 2 for no. Press the 1 key to save the test record. Press any key to continue and you'll be returned to the startup menu. Now let's review the test results.